Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, me and Taylor from Taylor Reads are going to be doing a 24-hour readathon, and it starts at 6.30. Um, I'm an hour ahead of Taylor, so I'm starting first, and then when it's 6.30 for her, that's when she starts, which is like 7.30 my time. But yeah, um, I'm going to show you what my TBR is for now. And I say for now because these two are like definite reads and I'm not going to set up a TBR for like the rest because, you know, me and Taylor, TBRs are not our thing. So <laughs> it's going to be interesting. But I am going to be reading Starfish. I have 100 pages left, so... I know I could finish this. This will not take long at all. And I'm very excited. I'm really loving this book. I feel like this is already a five star read for me. I highly recommend it, but make sure you're in the right headspace for this book because there's a lot of triggers when it comes to mental health, social anxiety, gaslighting, emotional manipulation, you know, like, but yeah i'm gonna be reading this then i am going to be reading we free the stars by hafsa faisal oh i didn't say the name akemi don bowman i i forgot to say her name but yeah um we free the stars and i've been needing to read this but i've been in a reading slump but now i'm back again i'm here i'm good and i have the audiobook for this so this will be my audiobook listen i am going to be adding a manga to this tbr i don't know which one we'll see what i'm in the mood for and let's see if i even finish um we free the stars like let's just see what happens so yeah um i'm actually gonna head to barnes and noble so i will keep you posted and it'll be 6 30 by then you want this book but i am in the kids section right now but i needed to actually pick up a book for my aunt she actually wanted this book i'm really interested about it actually because i like the author but um yeah this is for her not for me and yeah i'm gonna start listening to the audiobook of ray free the stars while walking around and it is officially 6 30 and the readathon is starting Guys, <laughs> oh my god, so I'm doing reading sprints with Taylor right now. I have 30 pages left of Starfish, and I am not okay. I am not okay right now. This is not real. No, I have. This is why I got trust issues. I can't. Because everything was going so good, you know, character development. Like, I was here to see it. And then, like, I'm like, things are going too well. Where's the plot twist? You know? Because as you saw in the last clip, watching Attack on Titan, can't trust anything going too well. But I need this to end well. So I'll keep you posted when I finish. But yeah. It's um. about four in the morning. Um, yeah, uh, I've been doing reading sprints with Taylor the whole night, kind of crazy. I am gonna go to sleep though, don't worry, but I wanted to update that I finished Starfish and I gave it a 5 out of 5 stars. It ended really well, I liked the way it ended, and it was a really nice read. I liked all the characters. It was very relatable, especially when it came to mental health. I do recommend this book. It was 
it was just a great time so five out of five stars and i'm glad that i read this i decided to read a manga and i had taylor pick out which manga for me to read and that is Wodokoi love is hard for otaku volume two and i gave i'm giving this a five stars i literally just finished this yeah i have like nothing else to say about it i was actually more invested in this one than the first volume which surprises me but yeah this was a nice change of pace of course it's a romance i enjoyed every second of it so also we decided to do a 48 hour readathon instead of a 24 hour readathon just because we would have like more time to read and we could be easy on ourselves with sleeping so yeah um i feel bad because i kept taylor up all night because <laughs> i think right now it's like three in the morning for her so yeah at least we were productive with our reading and i already finished two books so i'm happy about that also i did make progress with we free the stars at barnes and noble i made a bit of progress not a lot but you know a bit so i am definitely gonna be reading this i think the goal for me is to finish this book so i could get to other stuff so since it's a 48 hour readathon which is good so i could sleep um even if it was 24 hours i would have slept the next stuff in my tbr that i'm in the mood for is we free the stars the goal for me is to finish it i hope i can i have the audiobook for this so let's see how i do with that and then after that i actually do want to read volume one of dead dead demons the 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 destruction um volume one because i am very interested it's actually a sci-fi so i'm interested to see how i would feel about it and this is really cool i'm very interested to see how i would feel and also this manga is more on the shorter side because this was much longer so i feel like this would be nice to read taylor's doing well uh i hope i didn't kill her too much she says she's happy about it that like you know i'm keeping her up like making her read but you know the exhaustion is hitting me now i think it's just because i had a venti at starbucks i was hyped up i'm gonna go to bed i will keep you posted and i am very excited update i have made progress on we free the stars i'm a little over 200 pages left and i actually am enjoying this a lot more and actually paying attention but i am tired i have read a lot and it's only still the first 24 hour mark i think i don't know what time it is but it's close to it so kind of glad we uh decided to do 48 hours and not 24 anyways i will i keep saying i'll keep you posted i mean i will keep you posted yeah. so i have three hours left of the audiobook which is not bad but i do need a little break so i am gonna pick up dead dead demons d -d 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 instructions <laughs> volume one i'm i'm getting the hang of it and yeah this volume is I feel like this manga is actually it's about 200 pages but this is th i feel like this is way more on the shorter side compared to other mangas that i read but i am tempted to pick up the cruel prince just because one it's shorter two it's in my currently reading and i rarely get in the mood for the cruel prince and the last time i read it i was in a reading slump i'm gonna start this now because i need a little break from we free the stars as much as i'm actually enjoying it i do need something different to keep me sane
so it is one in the morning and i want to just update you right now because i am tired but i am so close to finishing we free the stars like i'm like right there but i wanted to update you on dead dead demons the destructions volume one but i was actually talking to taylor while reading this she was listening to her audiobook while doing work and i was reading and i actually was keeping myself occupied while listening to we free the stars and reading this but yeah i am going to give this a four out of five stars actually i did already give this a four out of five stars on goodreads and overall i actually really enjoyed it i love the art i did like the humor it just reminded me a lot of people now like this was published in 2018 and this like i'll give an example pretty much a flying saucer crashed in somewhere in town in japan and um you know people want to go and see it and check it out and want to be in front of the camera and be like oh my god you know and then like authorities were like hey put on um this helmet we don't want to get sued and the lady was like i just put my hair up why do i need to put on this helmet and i'm like that's literally people who won't put on their mask that's literally people and then um when the news came out that you know aliens are invading in town the politician was speaking in japan and people on social media are like oh my god why is he here like why is he talking he should be quiet and I'm like, Trump. Um, and then when the news came out, when the aliens invaded, oh my God, I told Taylor the joke. When the aliens invaded, the girl, she was like, so I made the right choice to blow off my homework? I ain't gonna lie. That, that, would, that, that would be me. That'd be me. I would I would have been one of those people I I really would so <laughs> I did enjoy most of the humor almost everything I enjoyed the thing is there are some very messed up jokes um and I definitely do think like I think that's the point quote me if, like I don't know who has ever read this the girl's best friend literally needs like mental help actually a lot of people in that book need some help the things that they say are very disturbing and weird and it catches you off guard and you're like wait what it's weird and there was like one thing that made me a little bit uncom uncomfortable it was basically that she is in high school like they're actually in high school and she had a crush on her teacher nothing like that happened like nothing like you know but she had like a crush on her teacher and it was weird it's like the only thing and it's dark humor times three no times four or seven keep that in mind like this actually is like explicit content you definitely do have to read this if you're over 18 i would not recommend it if you're under 18 and i wouldn't recommend this to everybody i really did enjoy it and it was something different from other manga that i usually read and it was funny I love the art. I was appreciating it like every single frame. I was appreciating it. Um, yeah, I mean, I just really enjoyed it. It was just that like one little thing that happened that made me feel like, oh, that's kind of weird. I feel like this is something new <laughs> brought to the table. And I like that. And I'm excited to read more of this. I do think I'm gonna go to bed cause I need some sleep and I need to get ready tomorrow. So if I do have time, I do want to read another manga. I just like the change of mediums that I'm reading. And I feel like it just helps me a lot to keep going because mangas make me feel better. And um, I asked Taylor, which one should I read this time? And she said, 
Full Metal Alchemist Volume 4, which I definitely agreed with because I have more volumes coming in the mail, like I'm actually going to be caught up. So I might as well just keep reading the series and just keep going. And yeah, I mean, I love this series so much. I'm enjoying it and I actually do want to start the TV show soon. But for now, I finished three books and I'm almost about to finish the fourth one. That's insane. I feel like I'm reading more books in this 48 hours than I have in a whole month. So, but this definitely makes up for my reading slump that I had in May. But the next clip will definitely be when I finish Read Free the Stars or the next morning if I fall asleep, so. I finished Read Free the Stars finally. I gave this a 4 out of 5 stars. I really liked it and again I'm glad I like reread um the part where I really was not paying attention. Of course there were like, you know, little things that kind of like confused me a bit with the plot, but overall I actually liked it. I liked the characters. There was definitely more romance. I was paying attention and uh, that romance was so good. I'm so surprised at myself. I'm literally finishing four books already. Like, that's, it's surprising me right now. I am gonna go to Barnes & Noble just cause like it helps me keep myself occupied while I'm, you know, there. Um, I need a lot to keep me busy if I'm gonna be listening to the audiobook. So I am gonna like actually put on makeup, look cute, even though I don't want to because I thought of taking it off but like I need something to keep me busy also with Friday night I was up till 4 in the morning finishing books Taylor literally was up at 7 in the morning I saw her text when I woke up she finished two books and it was 7 in the morning I'm like like I'm happy she finished two books but you went to bed at 7 in the morning like Oh my god, I don't know when she's gonna wake up. I promise you I'll put on a different shirt. It's, it's 48 hours, it's the weekend. I know this makes me feel this- This makes me seem I'm really disgusting. I- I don't know what to tell you, but... Yeah, I am gonna start the Cold Prince, and I'm really excited. Cause the writing is really good, and I remember, like, I was on chapter 5, where Carding came in. And I felt the tension from him already, like I felt it and it was there and I was like, oh, I like that. But I still don't remember anything that happened except for chapter one. So I got to re-listen to it. And re-listening has made my experience better as we saw with Re Free the Stars. I'm ready. I'm ready to do this. <laughs> Hey guys, oh wow, oh, that was weird. <laughs> so I could not update much at Barnes & Noble cause you know, I was at, in public, so. But I wanna update you guys on the readathon cause now the 48 hour readathon is done and I cannot believe how much I read in 48 hours. I'm really impressed with myself. Um, I'm really proud of myself. This definitely makes up for the reading slump I had in May. So in total, I've read six books in this readathon and I actually read another book after the readathon. So I read seven books in the past two days. I think I'm crazy. Uh, so let me just show you, um, three were regular books and three were manga. I'll just go in order from what I finished. So the first one I finished was Starfish and I had about a hundred pages left. So 
it was easy for me to finish and i gave this a five out of five stars then i read wotokoi love is hard for otaku volume two and i gave this a five out of five stars as well i actually had a really good like reading like thing like pretty much everything was like a four or five star which is <laughs> really good i'm happy about that then i read dead dead demons D -d 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 destructions volume one and i gave this a four out of five stars then i read <laughs> we free the stars and i had to like reread like about half of the book so i actually read a lot it was about 300 or maybe a little bit almost 300 pages so that was a lot and i gave this a four out of five stars and then today i finished the cool prince and i read all of it in one day when i tell you i had it at 3.2 times speed because i was going nuts i was like i want to finish this but also i was actually really enjoying the book like i was actually comprehending what was happening i never go to a three like the most i probably do is like a 2.6 but 3.2 okay and i'm glad that i chose to read it when i was in the mood because now that i actually read it i really liked it a lot i gave this a 4.5 out of 5 stars and i know that 0.5 less is triggering taylor right now but overall i really liked it i liked the story i liked the characters jude badass jude is that girl period you can't you can't say otherwise like she actually is a badass YA protagonist that should be like that and not be a little wuss and i'm here for it i am really excited what's to come for the second book i'm like really shocked because i knew i was gonna like it because obviously that's why i bought the whole box set i wasn't expecting the stuff that happened in the book to happen that's mainly what I'm saying, but I'm ready for The Wicked King, and I see why Taylor and Zoe were freaking out. They were worried I wasn't going to like it because this was the book that got me into a reading slump, but it was just the beginning was kind of hard to get into a bit, but after that, I really enjoyed it, and plus, I am really am such a mood reader. I really got to pick this book up. Something about this book... I have to pick it up when I'm in the mood because if I'm not in the mood and I read this like this is literally what happened it got me in a reading slump last but not least I read Full Metal Alchemist volume 4 and luckily I had time to read it I finished it three minutes before the readathon time was up so I was like look at me go and i gave this a five out of five stars i really enjoyed the backstory yeah edward and al um hearing their backstory from when they were children to how they got to the point where they are with their full metal bodies and how they joined the military so that was actually really nice to see and it made me really enjoy that so i gave this a five out of five stars after that I read another manga, um, but this was after the readathon time was up. I read The Promised Neverland Volume 1. Um, I've been in the urge to just get into new series, if you can't tell, because Dead Dead Demons did the, the, the Destructions. I've heard great things about it, and I also heard how sad it is, which is like, again, something you don't expect. Like, look at these little kids. But then I read it. And oh my god, I gave this a 5 out of 5 stars. I was hooked throughout the whole thing. I was amazed. I always do this thing where I pick up the first two or three volumes. And if I don't like it, I'll return it or sell it. But you know me with my gut feeling. I knew I was going to like this. I didn't expect myself to love it the way I did. And I'm glad that I read this. This is my wrap up. <laughs> For the readathon pretty much and then gotta peek that one there of course you know three were manga but like how else am i gonna get through this readathon without some manga 
duh but um this was so much fun to do me and taylor are crazy with our sleep schedule but i am really glad how everything turned out and this definitely makes up for may because i was in a reading slump and now i'm really in the reading mood and i'm glad and i think this um readathon actually helped me more with that because i literally have just been reading four or five star reads which is amazing <laughs> i'm glad but that's pretty much it i hope you guys enjoyed this video i'm about to go and watch attack on titan with my friends now and thank you so much for watching i'll see you guys next time bye